Zuma Radio, AM 740, downtown Toronto, FM 96.7. Her name is Amy Skye, and that's a song called Love, Pain, the Whole Damn Thing. We hear that a lot around. It's one of my favorite <laughs> Amy Skye songs. Thank oh. you. You know, Neil, people often say that uh, that they feel that that's the, the anthem for the Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. It's true. It, it, it might be the argument. It was anthem. really written about my sullen personality, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I didn't want to say that in no. public, dear, but... <laughs> Oh, it's just fun seeing you two together. I, I, you know, we, we had Mark and Amy in, what is it, about eight or nine months ago now, I think, doing a concert in Zoomer Hall yeah. together. Uh, and play kind of, and it was interesting. It was some of, Mark, what you do with Lunch at Allen's mm-hmm. when you're out with uh, Cindy and Murray and Ian, where you were, you know, you're all playing on each other's songs and things yeah. like that. It's not one of those sort of, okay, here's Mark. Mark's going to do a Mark song. And here's no, we Murray. do it like a band. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and when the two of when when Mark and Amy were in as well, it it had that feel to it, and it was just fun. But then again, you also back each other up on actual re- recorded projects too, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I um, I t- I like to try and use Mark on on my records. He doesn't ask me very often. I don't know why. <laughs> but, uh, I usually wait- ask Molly Johnson or something. Yeah, okay. I'm right. waiting for an invite <laughs> for Mark's upcoming CD, which is. Have you decided on a title yet? No. Oh, it's honestly, Neil, I, I think it's going to be one of my all-time favorite Mark CDs. It's so gorgeous, this jazz CD with orchestra. Yeah, we heard a cut from it earlier yeah. this morning. It's very special. Yeah. Well, well I mean, let me, well, here's a question, because I've never gotten around to asking a musician this before. If you're not going to name it after a track on the album, for example, mm-hmm. where does the name of an album come from? Well, it's sort of an aggregate of the vibe, I guess, that you're trying to trying to portray yeah. like every record should have a point of view and then you 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 want to um I mean I don't think I've ever named a record after a a cut on the record you want to you want to say what everything's about mm. instead of just highlighting one song you frequently name it after a cut on the record or at least on a line from a cut yeah like on a, a perfect, line or a line you did on a perfect day your last one yeah, was, was, was the song and the album title. Yeah, but and, um, but and, usually it's a line from like a line from the lyric. Okay, here's a bit of trivia. So Mark put out a CD that he won the Juno for for best producer with Stephen McKinnon in 1992, I think, and the album title "Reckless Valentine." Yes, was my line, an ad lib for the song. It was. <laughs> It was. I gave you that line, and it became the album so title. So many years ago. Why are you bringing it up? I'm just right? saying. It's just kind of a trivia. People. The why resentment. Do I, do I feel like the, I'm in your I kitchen. I don't <laughs> resent it. I'm proud I of it. I wish I was in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> my okay. Line. Now we struck something else that I want to add, because I want to peek into the rock star lives here. Uh, who cooks at home? When you're at home together, because you're both out on the road at various times. I cook. Oh, really? Wait oh. a minute. No, no, you do not. If Mark invites you, don't you over to dinner, you want to ask him if he's cooking or, or bringing yeah, you. Yeah, you don't. No, want I'm the cook in the house, and Mark, you know, is a very appreciative audience. That's I nice. love to cook for Mark, and I also cook him his favorite foods when I'm away, and I leave them in the fridge. That's what is her? What is her, the favorite thing that she cook, makes? Wow, well, there. I have a number of like there's soups. Soups, yeah, and. and Stews, mm. which I love, and um, uh, and I of course make soup myself, but it's <laughs> it's an ugly. It involves a can opener. Oh yeah. no 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 no! I it it, it it involves you know animals and and chopped things and you, you know what Mark is a very talented painter, kind of an abstract painter, and yes. his soup looks exactly like one of his paintings. Yeah, it's kind of a cubist version, and you can of... use it for paint as well because. Uh, <laughs> The, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a Mark. Did painted. you paint that? Yeah. I did. Mark painted that. I'm, I'm holding it up the for, cover the, of, for the cameras. The cover of the album on a perfect day. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. Was Mark, yours. Paint, you painted a bunch of album covers. Your lunch at last two lunch at Allen's. Covers yeah, but were yours. that. Yeah, but that was before. Yeah, I've just been painting for like five years, and I, I, I love it. It's like songwriting for me. Yeah. And why wow. did you start painting? How did that come about? Uh, the death of my mother uh, was a uh, was a. Uh, my mother always hated my painting, so when she died, I, I felt uh, that I could uh, renew my relationship with canvas and uh, color. To, to be honest, you want an insight into the rock star life? Mark has a 
beautiful painting studio in our garage and a music studio in our house. And he really literally goes back and forth all day long. <laughs> Between the two. Yeah. Spends a lot of time painting. And what's what's I love about Mark's painting process, if you walk into a studio, there's no music playing because he's painting the sounds that he hears in his head, mm. which most artists have music to inspire them, but it's all inside Mark's head, so it's silent. Wow. Yeah. I just... See, this is fun. This is this is the stuff that makes me call call you on the phone and go, "Hey, we." She says it's a beautiful stuff? studio. It, it it really it's pretty messy though. But I love it. But it's messy because it's got <laughs> paint and yeah. you know that's color you, everywhere. You kind of imagine that there would be chaos right in the chaos. Room. Yeah, total chaos. The yeah. beauty in the chaos, uh, and that's kind of how we describe the show sometimes. Um, <laughs> uh, Mark and Amy sticking around for a little while yet. Yeah, we got to get more music on from both of them in the next little while. <laughs> But right now, 8.45, it's Toronto traffic time. Here's Captain Frank. We've got to check out a couple of earlier issues. Northbound 404 approaching Finch. Earlier collision there has been cleared away.